Hi guys, Brian here with Sono Hair Extensions and today we are going to be doing a tutorial on a quick braided top knot. So a lot of the times that I get inspiration for my own hair are when I'm watching TV basically. So I spotted this at the ACMs and instantly fell in love with it because it's something that looks super easy but stylish and cute. So what you'll be needing is I'm going to be using three of my single clip-in extensions and this is in Ash Blonde and the 20 inch length. So I'll be using these clip-ins and you'll need some little elastics to be able to tie off three braids, so three of them, some hairspray, a comb, and that's about it. So let's get started. So what I'm going to be doing to start off this tutorial is um, back combing my hair. So whenever I do a top knot, I just like to quickly go through my hair and back comb it just to give it some volume so it's not so slicked back and it's just kind of messy and fun. If you've watched any of my videos, you know I like that look. Okay, so now that I've got it back combed, I'm going to start on the braids. So the braids are gonna be going up the back of my head. The easiest way to do this, you can either flip your head upside down and braid that way, or I'm just going to be sectioning off this much hair on the back of my head and clipping these hairs up. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to clip that section up. With my three single clip-ins, I'm going to be flipping them upside down and clipping them in three sections right underneath. Clip that one in. And then the third and final one. Flip it upside down. And then go right next to the other one and clip it in. Okay, so now I have the three singles clipped in, and what I'm going to be doing is right along where they're clipped in, I'm going to grab a piece of that hair on the back of my neck. And what I'm going to be doing is just doing a three strand braid. I'm just going to repeat that step and do exactly the same thing with all three of those clip-ins. Okay, so I finished the three braids in the back of my head exactly like I did the first one. And I'm just going to be letting my hair down now. And um, I want some pieces on the side left out, so I'm just going to be kind of pulling out just a little bit of that hair, just right on the side, and then pulling the rest of it up. When you're doing this, make sure that you're filling in the back of your head and that those clip-ins are nice and covered with your hair. If not, because um, I can kind of feel when I can't see it, but I can feel it. And so I'm just gonna go back through at the very end and use a bobby pin. Okay, so now I've just pulled my hair up and I am just going to be creating a top knot. Okay, so now I have just my regular top knot that I always do. And with this, I'm going to be kind of, with my fingers, finding those pieces of braid, because I want them 
I want these to be standing out. So I've got two right here. I'm gonna push this one into the middle so that I can use that. And this was at the ACM, so she was clearly in a gown. This is gonna be more of kind of a sleeker look. So bobby pins always come in handy. So really, I mean, the fun thing with this hairstyle is every single time it's gonna look different. And it's kind of up to you to do what you want with it. So you can pull the braid out. I'm gonna just pull this one out as well. Just cause I want it to hang, to show a little bit more than it was. And then with the ends, we're just gonna slide it under. Okay, so back to the clip-ins that I was talking about in the back of my head. I'm gonna take a bobby pin and just kind of fill around and make sure that the hair is covering those clip-ins. So I definitely do not want those showing. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I had some baby hairs um, at the back of my neck. So I just smoothed them up, sprayed them with hairspray, and there you have it. So for more fun tips and tricks, visit us at sonohairextensions.com. Remember to subscribe to our page and we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching, bye guys.